Hey, Patrick. Hey, Rob. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> how are things up there? Yeah, fine here. We're just getting our first frost of the year. So. Really? Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm jealous. I'm like, it's the best time of the year for me when it's like, oh, we're through the summer and now it cools off. And it's actually okay to be outside when my two-year-old is crawling all over me and I'm not <laughs> get off right. of me. It's hot. Sticky. You were not uh, a sweater so child, cold. right? <laughs> <laughs> Now it doesn't feel so bad. That's yeah. good. I think we are ready to proceed <laughs> on to Quick play. Now we're both online. Uh, I know. <laughs> let's go. Um, yes. So we are here to do uh, scenario number two tonight, which is Bunker Hill. And I confess, and since you live, I know you live uh, well in in that sphere up there. Of, you know all the revolutionary <laughs> stuff up there. Um, About half hour south of it without traffic oh okay. so, that's <laughs> but good. yeah that's good no relatively close um i i know I, my my knowledge of the american history and that's why i'm doing this is uh, for the american uh, war of independence is is not scant but certainly not <laughs> as uh you know you, you get sort of the token kind of coverage during the mm -hmm. colonial period there in in uh, in public schools and I'm kind of hoping to delve a little deeper into this and I don't know if it's because at the same time I'm I'm delving deeper into the ancient stuff and I, I just have my daughter was even asking she's like well what time periods do you like and I said well I like this and I'm kind of getting back into this and so this is a this is a good opportunity for me to to strengthen my knowledge and especially uh having <laughs> you great. here as a resource this is that we can tap into uh I think this is a a good thing but uh tell us a little bit from your knowledge of the Battle of Bunker Hill. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, this is um, it's this is happening in June '75, so it's a few months after Lexington and Concord, and uh, obviously that did not go as the British had planned. But um, at this point, you know, Washington is taking command of the the various militia units that were gathering that had gathered for for Lexington and Concord, and then after that was over, they they stayed out in the field and, and were kind of congregating in Cambridge, um, pretty close to where Harvard is now, and, and and kind of gradually started establishing this blockade or this, uh, you know, putting Boston under siege from the landward side, at least. Um, the Continental Navy was not anywhere near being a thing yet, so they, they had no uh, way to really block off the, the seaward side of Boston, but they could on land. So they kind of gradually establish positions on all these these high ground, uh, these high places where the hilltops are around Boston, where they could put artillery up there and kind of look down onto Boston and, and be able to, you know, at least harass it with occasional shots. They They really did not yet have enough firepower to be able to, you know, seriously... <laughs> militarily threatened it. um but enough so that you know the british could not ignore it definitely and so what's happening here with bunker hill is that the british are coming across the river from boston they're they're kind of starting out from boston common and they they get on their boats and come across the charles river and they're trying to clear the americans off of one of these new positions that they've they've tried to snuck uh in the middle of the night they tried to kind of sneak on to where they where they were trying to go where they thought they were going which was breeds hill and and uh get um the artillery into a little bit closer position where maybe they couldn't do more damage to the british um as a lot of people probably know they got the wrong hill they were supposed to go to bunker hill and they ended up going to breeds hill instead so it's called the battle of bunker hill even though it actually was not quite fought on bunker hill but um that's what's going on here in this this scenario. The British are trying to clear them off and, and kind of keep them at a healthy distance away from their main base in Boston. What you don't quite see on the map here is how um, the peninsula, this, this uh, the battlefield and, and Bunker Hill and Breed's Hill are kind of located on this uh, peninsula that's called the Charlestown Peninsula and then Charlestown, which is on the map in this scenario you see in the corner there. It actually comes, if you were to keep going north on this map, it comes to a very narrow neck of land that actually connects it to um, to the mainland. And, and would, if you went north and west of there, you'd eventually get into the suburbs of Boston, which were just 
sparsely populated towns back then, but that's that's pretty much like the main supply route that the the uh, these various militia units that you see on the map here were were trying to keep that path open to them. And and if they had established these these positions with their artillery, that's kind of the road that all of the ammunition and the powder and all those things would have been traveling over. With this narrow neck, the the whole danger and and the reason that Bunker Hill was a pretty dangerous battle. And it was pretty lucky for the Americans that it didn't go worse than it did, was that it, it's surrounded on three sides, basically, by water. And, and again, there's only that narrow, very narrow neck of land that's just wide enough for one road that would have been the escape route off of this peninsula. And a lot of people look back on Bunker Hill and look at the British with their overwhelming naval uh, capability. You know, they had the, the main bulk of the North American uh, the fleet, the North American Station, as it was called for the British, they had, you know, many, many more ships than, you know, they had total control of the Charles River and were able to pretty much sail up and down it at will and unopposed. If they had really utilized that power <laughs> to the full extent that they could have, um, it certainly would have been possible for them to probably trap this whole army that you see here on the Charlestown Peninsula and, and could have forced it to surrender. Um, and if that had happened, um, you know, it's anybody's guess kind of how the, the revolution would have gone from there. It's not likely that it would have been completely snuffed out, but it could well have set it back, you know, months or even years <laughs> than uh, beyond what it took to, to come to a resolution. So the reason that they didn't do that is uh, because of the, the bugaboo that war games always have is that we see all the information very easily because we have this perfect top-down view of the battlefield and the location of every unit and all of the terrain is nicely laid out for us and to us it looks very simple about you know you should move here to get the advantage here the british uh, lacked really good quality charts of the charles river and even though when you look at it on the map you think oh they could have sailed the ships you know right up there and, and trapped the americans on this peninsula uh, it was a little bit sketchy for them because they were just not quite sure uh, when you're in rivers, especially, and you know you're operating these uh, fairly large uh, sailing warships that need uh, a healthy, a healthy amount of water underneath the keels to make sure that they don't run aground. They just did not want to risk uh, running aground in these these channels of the Charles River, and it's a tidal estuary, so some of those channels are always changing as you know sediment fills in, tides come in and out, and it was just a little bit too risky for them to really put their ships in their big ships that close to to uh, you know the the shore where they could have rest having those run aground, and if that had happened, they would have been sitting ducks and and. Uh, a warship in the 18th century is not something that is easy to replace. Once it's gone, it takes years and, and a lot of money to build a new one. So um, if they had been a little bit more risky, if they had had maybe better intelligence and better knowledge of the rivers, they might have been able to use their naval power to better effect. But as it happened historically, they were really only able to take, you know, a few some long range shots with with these ships that were just kind of standing out a healthy distance out into uh, into Boston Harbor, and that is modeled. I saw in the the scenario rules for this, it is going to start with an opening cannonade, and and it's for the British. It's saying that opening cannonade is coming from the Navy, and as since you can see, there's no artillery for the British in this scenario, so that's. Uh, one way that they're kind of showing that here but as you can see from this scenario too um i have not like i don't have an, uh access to any of the scenario statistics that may be there on the website but i doubt that the americans win this scenario very often if you look at there's a lot of american militia here and uh, as you know from our first game sure. they are extremely brittle on the battlefield if they retreat even once uh, they can quickly, they can vanish <laughs> and just get wiped off the battlefield by failing those those rally checks. So um, they have a little bit of help here where they're sitting on fortified positions as they were in the actual battle. So they had that advantage of being able to fight behind a, an entrenched position. Um, but yeah, that's 
they're pretty much tied to those positions in this battle. And if uh, I don't know that the Americans are going to be trying to rush out of there and go attack the cream of the British army very much. So the Americans are definitely kind of fixed a little bit in their defensive positions and hoping for the best. Um, you know, I'm sure there'll be some counterattack opportunities if, if the cards come up right. But yeah, we'll have to see how this plays out. But I'm I'm not expecting the Americans to win. <laughs> I'll say <sell> that much. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will definitely. I noticed that uh, this this uh, title has been added to the uh, commandsandcolors.net website, and they do let people. If you've got an account, you can just kind of in, input your statistics on gameplay, um, and that's been really helpful for us with our ancients playthrough to kind of just compare and contrast our playthrough with historically mm-hmm. and, and it gives a percentile so it's like 74 26 so uh yeah i will definitely check this one after after we play it and uh and see if if that is true i i suspect you are correct with seeing all those militia there uh with the the, the added bonus of a readout or offense that's probably not super helpful but uh that remains to be seen what would you say um is the kind of the scale of this one i know they they wildly vary between various scenarios, <laughs> yeah. but knowing what you know of the geographic layout of, of Bunker Hill and Breed's Hill, are we talking hundreds of yards, dozens of yards, pretty close combat? Yeah, or? I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to guess, yeah, probably between like 50 to 100, maybe closer to 50 yards per hex here. Okay. Um, I'm not, I mean, I see where Charlestown is there. So we're basically, we're, yeah, we're basically looking north. Um, like north northwest um that neck of land that i was talking about is basically yeah on the the center of the board if you kept going north from where you see putnam there okay um this this whole the three sections of the map would kind of narrow and it would just get down to one section if we kept going north and, and this is all south of boston proper you say or is north. this okay north of boston oh proper. it is north so, of boston yeah. okay the bottom of the board where how is yeah the the charles river is right down there and then the mystic river is over on the the east side like where the decks of cards are gotcha okay um, there's another inlet that's like the charlestown uh kind of this bay this neck or the little channel of the charles river that comes up around the end of charlestown that's on the west side so the the left right and bottom parts of the map are what are surrounded by water at the top yeah. parts where you would find that neck of land if you kept going Gotcha. Uh, this this will be. Uh, it's got a, a smattering of everything, as you said. We've got. Uh, actually, I do. Uh, I'm going to play the British tonight as we start, um, and I do have one light in addition to that opening can cannonade cannonade from the uh, from what, what was the name of that? I will pull up the information here. The uh, uh, the lively. Ah, uh, yes, the, the HMS Lively. Actually, <laughs> British uh, found in nature. Yes, yes, the HMS <laughs> Stiff Upper Lip. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I will get uh, that one, and uh, that one, I guess, is just a. No, that's a single die. Whereas the the light unit down there would, depending on the range, of course, and I think it's it is. It's still going to get its two dice probably because it's. It's one plus full strength. Oh, yeah, you know, sorry, I was mistaken. I said the British didn't have any artillery. They do have that one over there on the right one. side. Yeah. And you've got yep. some. And uh, is it is it British first, typically, and then Continental? Or uh, what is it, the order? Uh, oh, it, I guess it would be by who moves first. So, yeah. yes. Okay. Um, I think, uh, again, I have to lie. I think we technically do draw our cards first. Okay. All right. May... So, Let's. Uh, I'm going to influence who you shoot at. I've got the battle notes open here just to kind of review it. Uh, you are on the top edge of the map with the Continentals. You've got Prescott, five command cards, three combat cards. I also am uh, the same with five command and three combat. Uh, I am on the the bottom edge of the map. See, so yeah, I almost said south. Uh, the bottom edge of the map uh, with uh, How as my overall commander. And uh, let's see, yeah, special rules. I will have the opening cannonade, as per usual. We'll both get that. Um, I will also get to fire the lively with one die against a unit specifically on Breed's Hill or Charlestown. So, um, as you pointed out, yes, those those militia become a very delicious target, um, but having Prescott adjacent to them is, is a, a huge help. Um, I get a temporary victory banner at the start of the turn if there are no continental units occupying 
a specific section of the battlefield, so potentially three, but if I got all three of them cleared, that would be a victory anyway. Uh, so I guess two temporary victory banners are always on, on the board, possibly. Um, and then one victory banner for each Breed's Hill, so up to five there, uh, for at the start of my turn, for each Breed's Hill hex occupied. So that's interesting. Uh, so that gives me a kind of a target. Um, it does. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So they've put this somewhat on rails. Um, okay, then let me... Uh, I'm going to draw up my cards here. And let's see what we get. So it's five and three. And I'll draw up mine. Since this is a... We've got the, the variety of uh, terrain here. I'm going to look at the... Some of the train effects buildings would allow you to, let's see, um, morale effects would have no effect if you're in there. So maybe the attacking the rifle unit in Charlestown would make sense. So let's do that instead. So we'll, uh, we'll undo that and we'll attack that one. Okay. Potentially get it. Uh, so here is one die looking for a flag. And it's a saber, so that's a miss. Um, and now, do I do both of them, or do you do yours and then I do my next one? Uh, I believe we alternate. Okay, so go ahead. Um, my guy will shoot guy there. And let's see, for light artillery, I'm sure that's one die. Yeah, it is. So full strength, so we'll have two dice. <laughs> All right, didn't matter. This okay. is anyway. All right. So... Yes, much uh, much show of force, but uh, no sound and fury, really. Oh, and I could retreat the uh, do the retire and rally kind of thing where they they do. You could retreat two hexes here to the rear, but I think I won't do that. I'll I'll keep them where. Okay. Okay, so you go first, right? I do. I think we'll start with we'll start with an inspired leader on the left. That will be uh, one leader with four adjacent linked contiguous hexes. So we'll do these four units here. Yeah, I think we're uh, good on everything. And uh, I think these units will just move to there. And, uh, and then we will get uh, combat. So I think we have a shot to there. One for distance, two for full strength, three for the card to there. So three dice. Here, here we go. Move. Two. Oh, and then they move. So it comes back down. Right, two. So good good call. Thank you. So two dice. Okay. And we get a retreat. I only ignore a flag and forest with them. So yeah, it looks like they think that take it. Head out over that way. And they've got a roll five dice for their rally since they're four and full strength. Uh, he's, right. he's good. Uh, and then I think these guys will have a shot on him as well. Uh, no, no, he does not. Uh, let's see. Two, two, two. Oh, he does. Two, two, one. Is that right? Yes. So he does have uh, a two die shot to there. Um, so... Here we go. Two dice. Uh, two hits. That's good. So you, well, let's, we know he has two hits from this. Okay. Do you want to all... Let's go back and roll that one more. Sure, for first. sure. Okay. Um, so here's the clear, and then here's one hit from the previous. It's another flag. Okay. Well, so... So that, that would... Yeah, that would that change would, this one. Would have... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so... So that would have meant he had to retreat another hex, right. there, which now would put him out of range of what just happened. Okay, so, perfect. Then that works. Well, he's unless he f fails this check, so so he would have had to. Uh, but he passed the, the rally before, so. Well, I mean, I guess if that. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. Fine with you. We got that. All right. So yeah. that unfortunately wipes out your two hits that you would have got. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Fine. I'm I'm okay with that. I just want to make sure that we're doing it right. Um, okay. And then uh, regulars down here don't have a shot because it's two, two, one. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so that is all for the card, and I do get a combat card for this. 
So I will draw that up and draw command card, and I am done. Okay. I'm going to go with Recon and Force. So one in each section, we're going to go with the rifles on the flanks. Yeah, there are ranges four, so I think we'll actually go with all rifles here. Rifle, rifle, rifle. All right, so I'll have one more thing at the end, but for right now, I'll do these three shooting. Um, so we'll start over on the left side. Rifle shooting at your light. All right, so I'm one at that range, and I'm another one for full strength. So we have two dice there. Well, that's and, good. <laughs> you do have to take the one. I do have know. to take one of them, so he will... Um... Fortunately, he only retreats one hex. Yeah, I think I will retreat into the hex with Pijot. All right, so the rally check then is five dice. Uh, are there any l negatives like, for... You, you've got one extra for full strength and one for the leaders. Okay, so, so six, six dice. dice. Okay, here's here's the check. And they make it. And on down the line... Take a pot shot at your grenadiers there. So two dice for this one as well. Rifle. Shoot at that light on the end. And still one at that range. So still two dice. Um, He's got to take it. You have to take the one fly. All right, so he will retreat there. And his rally attempt is five dice. And he gets it. That was everything for the actions. I'm going to play this card because I have no regulars on the field. So I'm going to use this for the default action to just move a leader. Oh, okay. So I'm going to use that for Putnam. Uh, I'll just move him three hexes. So he's going to go one, two, three to there. Yes. Provide moral support and leadership for those lowly militias. Those militias, they flee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try to. Okay. Okay, so that's done. So now I'll draw a command card and a combat card. Now it is truly over to you. Okay. Let's see what I'm going to do now. We will advance in the center and order those three. They will just move to there. Okay, so we will then draw back up. And return it to you. Play that. Forward. Order those two on the left. See in the middle. Go with him and him. And then on the right, those two. Uh, I'll change that. Let me uh, make that Prescott over there. So there's my six. OK. Uh, so for movement, there, move into there, you know, move into there. All right, that's all the movement. So we'll start over on this this side. These guys will shoot at your light. So for dice, the rifle unit has one at that range, two for full strength, and then three from a leader. So we got three dice at your light. Yep. And ignore that. Okay, we shall. Um, this guy over here will be next, shooting to your regular. He is going to have, I believe, also three dice. He's militia. They're one at that range, uh, two for full strength, three for a leader. So also three dice. Nope, getting the wrong symbols out there. <laughs> Ignore all that. Okay. Flag. Yep. Next to this guy, the one who didn't move, will shoot at the same one. So he'll just be one for range, one for uh, full strength. So two dice. Nope. And then the militia that moved. Um, let's see, I don't think he's got. Oh, yeah, he does. He's got one die because he's full strength and one at range and then down one for movement. So he'll just take uh, same guy, just one die. Mm. Well, they're shooting like militia. <laughs> Can't blame them. If we had so, rabbits and squirrels, 
all over us, we would probably be dead. <laughs> so, so much for that. Um, and that's that. I like that card, so I'm going to copy it. Mm, yep, okay. Okay, so we'll go there and there. How we'll move into there. They will move up and Grenadiers will move up. Okay, we've got shots from the two on the left and the Grenadier. Um, we'll do this one here. And I believe it is going to be just one die because they moved. Sounds right. Okay, so here's one die. Nothing. And same target, one die. There's a hit. We go to there. Um, one die as well. Gets that militia. Nothing. And same target, one die. And of course, he can ignore that. Okay, well that is all, so let me draw back up, and it is to you. Go with Unleash a Line Volley while we still can, because <laughs> we probably... That's very nice. Oh, a line for very much longer here, but while I got it, I'll use it. So we'll go with uh, this line right here, basically. Um, so we'll do that, and I'm going to also play this to the militia. I'm going to get another die on top of that. The militia will end up getting two extra dice, one from the line volley and then one from this. Very nice. So they better come through for me, <laughs> because <laughs> this is their best chance to do some damage. We'll start over here, this guy targeting your regular on the end. So I'm going to be one die for range, two for full strength, and then two more from the cards, so four dice. Just one flag, but he does have to take it. it okay. Like. And here's his rally check with five dice. He's okay. Okay. All right. This rifle will shoot at that grenadier. Um, the rifle should just be three dice. He's not militia, so he doesn't get that militia card, but he does get the line volley card. So, yeah, one for range, one for full strength, and one for line volley. So three dice at your grenadier. A nice even split of Oops. unit symbols. <laughs> right. One of, them, <laughs> one of them actually applies. There you go. Okay, let's take this guy. We'll shoot it. Prescott shooting at how? Very exciting. Um, there are going to be four dice as well. Range, full strength, and then two from the card. And yeah. one for Prescott, too, right? Or does oh, he... sorry. Yeah. No, you're right. He's five yeah, dice. Yeah. He's got five dice. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. Uh, okay. Incoming five dice. Oof. Okay. Well, you can't ignore the flags, but two hits. Okay. And uh, okay. give us a leader check. Okay. Nope. He survives that. Let's see, so next we'll go with take him. Um, also shooting at the same guy, Howe's guy here with the artillery. So he's going to now be, he should be just three dice. Um, he's one at that range and then full strength and then the line volley card, but not a militia bow. Hit. Whittling them down. <laughs> All right, another leader check. How is unfazed? <laughs> and then our last militia unit, I think we'll stick with him. He's going to be for range and one for line volley, one for militia bonus. Um, he's not full strength, so he's got three dice. Looking for a infantry <laughs> symbol and see if we can shoot How's guy up from underneath him. And he got him. All right. All right. We'll take that. Okay. Take a. I guess you get a single die at how. 
Yeah, so just a one a one die leader check. See if we can plink how as well. Ah, oh, nope. He escapes. Okay, he falls back to um, there. And then, uh, yeah, the last one on the the end, the rifle unit, he's got no shot. I don't think. Don't think he can see that. Yeah, that regular. Definitely not the one right in front of him, and then the one to the east there, I think, is still blocked. I do wish they had a line of sight tool. See that hex next to him. Yeah, I think that's blocked. So, yeah, I think that should be it. Okay, that was very good. Okay. I think I'm basically going to say for myself, if I can get three banners, I'm going to consider myself to have won the scenario. So, I'm just... <laughs> Alternate victory condition, yes. Of course. I'm just going to, you know, house rule it you know, tonight. <laughs> I cannot fail a rally check. Uh, if I can at least stay on the field, even if I'm defeated. If I lose my blocks to being eliminated, but not fleeing the field, right. we'll call that victory too. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a bayonet attack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get a, get a <laughs> chance to test that. that lane, it, uh, it goes downhill real fast. All right, so... Um... I think we're going to do that. And, um, yeah. Let's see if we can't flush the militia here. Um, we'll start with this one to here. And so they will get uh, the normal two dice for melee plus one for full strength. So, yes, yeah. th three dice. Okay, just three. three. Uh, all right, three dice at your militia. Here we go. Uh, one hit. All right, well, they stand to at least shoot back. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't get sabers on mine, so <laughs> I'm, I'm at quite a disadvantage here. But um, So I'm two dice back at you, and that's ignorable. Um, okay. I think they will take that and do a rally check. Oh. Yeah. Let's do five dice. I'm going to risk the five dice rally Yeah, check. I'm going to risk the five dice. <laughs> there you go. Um, and then the same target there with three dice once again. There we go. Okay. And flush them. <laughs> that definitely does it. They can ignore one, uh, but not the other. And they go three hexes. So, uh, go one, two, three. And um, I'm only going to have, uh, they're, they're minus one on rally checks, so it looks like I've only got one die for this rally check here. So, need a flag on one die. And don't get it. So much for them. Okay. Um, I could take ground, but I choose not to take ground. <laughs> so um, I will then draw back up, and I will send it to you. Well, so, okay. I I was meaning looking at this, and this probably would have been. So if we go back to where, well, when he took those flags, I actually had a card I was thinking I was going to play. Um. So you would roll those two flags, and I had this card, which I was kind of holding for a situation like that. Oh, I guess, yeah. do, you, do you mind if I play no, that? No, not at all. <laughs> no, advance a little bit beyond that, but yeah. I, I think that's definitely where I would want to of play Of course, that. of course. You are okay with that. Yes, card. I am. Thank you for sure. that. Um, so for the moment, we'll, yeah, we'll keep him there. And with that... Um, so that doesn't allow him... Does it allow him to battle back since he ignored them? Yeah, I guess that's the... The other thing is that it would, because okay. he did not retreat, sure. so he would Go have ahead. two dice back at you. Yep, all right. So here's those two dice. Okay. So he gets a hit. hit. Okay, well, that makes things a little bit better here. Um, I think we'll go with the line command. Wanting to preserve that line to give me one oh, more. Oh, yeah. First, yeah. <laughs> doing everybody in there, so we'll we'll go for that, yeah. Same grouping again there. Gets tricky here with militia. Again, not getting those sabers. I don't necessarily want to melee you right off the bat. 
Because if you get to shoot back, your together can't ignore any flags. Yeah. All right. Let's let's start with uh, Prescott here, and he'll he'll take a shot at that guy. Um, so let's see. I think militia. Yeah, they're they're anything beyond one hex. They're they're just one die. So he's only one die for range, and then two full strength, and three for the leader. So he'll have three dice for this shot. Um. Yeah, he's got to take take both. Those slides. Okay. So um. That and that. Time for a rally check. Uh, I will play that for a rally check bonus. <laughs> yep. Okay. I'll give him five dice total. Five dice total. Here we go. You do like your five dice rally checks, don't you? <laughs> because dice hate me, Rob. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. I, right. I want to see you fail one of them one of these oh, times. Like, I did on my our first you game, hurt didn't me, I? Man. <laughs> I don't right. think you've truly experienced tricorn until you fail to roll a flag on like five or six That's dice. That's true. And you truly have been, you've seen the <laughs> elephant at that point. <laughs> well, this time it was successful, so he may continue. Okay. Full over here. I think we'll stay on those grenadiers. So they should be uh, two dice for that range. And hmm, now they're... do they just get to? I think they get to ignore. I think they do. Just yeah. yeah, and they do. Just because they're grenadiers. So yes, they are good where they are. Militia. Well, let's see. Uh, I think they'll they'll shoot at that. Get rid of these old target markers. All right, that militia on the end will shoot at how. Two dice. Two dice for them on this shot. Ignore that. The artillery next. They're going to shoot at that regular. And let me see. For light artillery, yeah, they'll have um, two dice at range and then a third one for full strength. So this is a three dice shot. One hit and a retreat. Okay. Hit. Fall back. And here is their rally check. Three dice. And they make it. <laughs> that militia. Take a shot at how. And he's just going to be one die. Wish you had to take that, but you sure don't. <laughs> I sure don't. Okay. The rifle unit down here. I think he does have line of sight to how. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, down that spine. Right through there. Yeah. So let's see, I think rifles do have four hexes. Yeah, they're one die there. So one for range, one for full strength. So he's got two dice coming in at how. And a hit, and we'll right. take it. Give me a leader check. Oh! <laughs> Assassins! Oh, well Assassins. done, rifles. Look at that! <laughs> I think that's the first one I've ever gotten. It. Wow! They, I How mean, that's falls. That's I, perfect, actually, I coming from the rifle. No it's, name uh... squirrel hunter from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's what they did at, at Saratoga. Remember, we were playing last time, and yeah. the rifles that historically got Fraser at Saratoga. So <laughs> that's uh, that's appropriate that it's the rifle unit that plinks an officer. <sighs> Man, Tim hurt. Murphy. Tim that Murphy hurt. must be here at Bunker Hill. It hurts. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, maybe the Americans have a chance here. Who knows? See, that was it. Well done, boys. Draw card. Okay. Well, that does change things a tad. I will steal a march. And uh, I will also play a reform card. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> one die, two dice win, or with a okay. Sadly, not adjacent to a leader anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, one die. Here we go. And it's a saber. Nothing at all. Okay. So that was a buff kiss. All right. Um, <laughs> these two units will steal a march. 
They will go up to three hexes, so I think we will now do one, two, three, one, two, three. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. And, uh, you got more guys coming, don't you? I do. Um, no combat for me, unfortunately, which gives you another time to take more shots. <laughs> but, uh, well, I will. <laughs> I know. All right. Uh, it's back to you, sir. Probe on the right. Going with those two. And I think I will also play a reform card. See if this militia guy right there can get anything back. So he is adjacent to a leader, so he's got two dice. See if he can get somebody back. So he gets one back. So then these two are going to shoot. Take a shot at that guy. Um, Prescott here has got one, two, three dice at this regular. Uh, he's got to take one of those flags. That is a blocked retreat Which path. So... Caused him a loss. Yep. Okay, so he takes a hit. And makes a rally check now of two dice. Just right? two dice, yep. Um, do they flee with two dice? He asked aloud, hoping no. Ooh. Oh, stern, <laughs> I just stern stern it in my <laughs> We'll get two flags on two dice. Hmm. Okay. This guy. Yeah, it's tempting to try and finish him off, but I think I'm going to shift over to this guy instead and get three dice against him. So... Just a hit? Just a one hit. Okay. Okay. And I got a combat card from that one, so... Okay. This is where things go a little cold, I guess. But <laughs> we will do a probe left. And I think we'll send them forward. <laughs> Coming to pay a visit now, aren't Yeah, they? springing afternoon tea. Uh, British light units will hit on saber rolls. Okay. Probably yes. All right, so we're going to get uh, three dice because we're full strength. We have a leader and two, but we moved, so minus one. And so the lights... Who's... Oh, okay. Yes, so they will go after the rifles there. So... And retire and rally. Ah, uh, yes, you can. I guess I'll risk it. I'll stand and fight. Okay. So here comes three dice. And one saber. Hit. And um, I'll have two dice back at you. But I do not get sabers, sadly. Unlike yours. But yeah, that's okay. a nothing. All right. Uh, and then the regulars here and there. Your light artillery. Okay. Um, so it's uh, two, but they moved. So just one. Uh, um, I believe that's correct. Okay. Um, so here's one die. Nothing. Okay. okay. You can fire back. Grape. Give dice. them the grape. <laughs> that's... Definitely what we're looking at. Uh, three dice, yeah. Two at range, one for full strength. All right. Okay. So a hit. And have to take that. So we'll go into the woods and... Uh, or is this now time that I can use that? Uh, oh, yes. I could use that now. <laughs> Hold the line. Hold the line! Hold it! <laughs> All right. So Hold the, it right there. Right. We will stay right there. There and command card, and that is all for my turn. Ah, uh, I guess the best we can do is gonna be that bombard with my one artillery unit that I have, and he's gonna get five dice at whoever he decides to shoot at. We gotta just go for the the guy who's on the ropes. So we'll shoot at him. With five dice. And that, uh, we'll so take, take him out. Got a, it won't. Or, uh, oh, the, I don't think, do I get sabers? Oh, yeah, sabers rolled in melee will score a hit. Mm -hmm. I, 
couldn't remember if they did. All right, yeah, that'll okay. do it for him. Then. There you go. Okay. Halfway there. I think you do outflanked. Okay. And those units. Uh, regulars. Oops, no, not that. Regulars will move there. Lights will move there. Grenadiers will move there, and Abercrombie will move up to join the Grenadier. So we'll start over here with the Peugeot lights against from rifles. Uh, so looking at three dice again. Uh, let's see yeah, can... um, I guess I will still stay and fight. So here we go, three dice, two flags. Okay, well, yeah, you can only ignore one of them. And a hit, yeah. all right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm looking past that. Uh, yep, he definitely takes the hit. So he's got to retreat one and hope that he gets a flag on two dice for his rally check. He does not. So, there you go. Now you've got your first one. All right. Um, Pijo will take ground. Yeah. And um, go after your light. Art. Now, i got to move this guy off for a second to see. Oh, okay, okay. that is the... Uh, it's it's whether it, that's a covered hex side, so he is still going to get the benefit of those field works here. Um, all right, then he will make a second attack then, and uh, three dice again. Anything to add this time? Yep, good. Okay, so here's three dice. Nothing. All right, um, and I shoot back also with three dice. <sighs> Force me off the hill. Um, and save her. See. No, hold oh, on. Yeah. I think you can, well, I think you, yeah, you can, you can definitely, ignore both, right. you're on a hill, right. so That's you right. can ignore those. Okay. No, 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 sorry, you can't, because um, I'm artillery. So when you're on a hill, you can ignore it from a lower level, oh, except from artillery. Gotcha. So yeah, you do okay. have to take one of them. So we take a hit, um, we take one of them, uh, give me the leader check for Pijo. Oh yeah, he's good. Okay, they will fall back to here for the moment. I should not have pressed the attack. Lesson <laughs> learned. Because uh, I would have gotten a free banner. Four dice. He's got... Yes, four dice. Here we go. And they make it. Okay. Abercrombie then. So, that's a... So, three total? Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. Nothing. Like more than that. Yes. Yep. Okay. That is all for me. Draw him back up. And we send it to you. Going to counterattack and do the same. We'll take those two. Uh, I guess those two. Start with Prescott. Shooting at your regular with two blocks. And he's going to have three dice at that range. Ooh. That gets him. That finishes him. Well done, Prescott. And we'll take the light artillery. Move next door to that guy. And that'll be two at range and one for full strength. So also three three dice at him. Oh, wow. It's the exact Six. same. Yeah. <laughs> but there are no streaks. There are never any streaks in that. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, but only partially. Um, okay, so uh, hit, hit, and then uh, it takes the flag, and just one die for a rally check. Come on, flag. <laughs> no. All right. Oh. One more, and this is a. Oh. <laughs> this could be a substantive a continental victory. I'm gonna take the rifle unit here and shoot behind the guy in front, try and <laughs> plink that grenadier that's four hexes away. So one at range, one for full strength, and one for the leader. So we've got three dice at this grenadier. Woof! 
Yeah, he's he does ignore one <laughs> does ignore runner here. One. He does have to take one of them. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Three dice. Come on, you guys. Okay. Phew. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> Never doubted you for a moment. Guy, okay, so the last one is the militia. He's aiming for Abercrombie's forehead. Put a musket ball right through it. <laughs> he's got just one for range and one for full strength, so two dice at these grenadiers. Nope. Nothing. Okay. All right. Um, drawing up a card. Clearing it off. I'll do a probe right. It'll be them and them. So, uh, grenadiers will move there. The light artillery will move up. Artillery moves, so no battle this time. Uh, but the grenadiers, however, will get to attack the militia hiding behind the split rail fence there. This is three plus one for being uh, full strength, plus one for leader. So that's five, but they moved, so four dice. Yep. Okay, so here is four dice. Got a hit and two retreats. <laughs> two hits. Oh, yes, sabers, hooray! Yeah. Um, yeah, and they, yeah, they just ignore, they can ignore one, one of those flags, but just one. Well, I'll retreat him onto Putnam, where he catches them and stops them. <laughs> so he'll give them, it's two dice. Yeah, they're down. They're, they're minus one for militia. So just two dice for their rally check. Make it. Okay. Well, then uh, Abercrombie will press it, take ground, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll go after them again. All right. Um, so four dice once again. Uh, so two retreats this time and a saber first to hit and then let's see about a leader check uh, leader check he's okay all right so i can ignore just one flag um so he takes the other one and he's looking at just one die on the the uh, no he, he exits the battlefield and then right. he has he still has to retreat one so he's gonna have to retreat off the battlefield right. so looks like i'm gonna lose him either way then okay okay well there you go right. you got both of them so well, we have a game <laughs> here again we have a game <laughs> grenadiers come alive grenadiers are right. just a bowling ball in a all right, um, so we've got a combat it, card and that card. So it is back to you. Do scout. I will order my man Prescott, and he will target that regular. Okay. So that will. Uh, so he's got uh, three dice coming in at him there. Ooh, that's that's definitely good. Hit in a flag. Okay. So they take the hit. And what can I do about that? Hmm. All right. So fall back. And use their two die rally check, potentially two for the dice. game. Two dice. Can he hold? Two, two <laughs> dice. All right. Here we go. Oh, what? and that is the game. Oh. A flea the British. field. The British have I decided do. that uh, their adventures in North America. They decide that Boston is a nicer place than Charlestown, which <laughs> is generally true. So, <laughs> <laughs> wisely decide to cross the river and go back to the common. And, mm. you know. Well, very well done. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. That I um, my next. My next big push, uh, I had two advanced right cards, so I had that mm. plus. So I was going to work the right side plus. I just got that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That would, between the lights and the, and the grenadiers, that would have been. Uh, yes. Lost a lot of blood and tears. Yes. Yeah. 
So I was definitely targeting uh, the these militia here next, uh, yeah. and then potentially these. So I thought, yeah, I thought maybe I could I could pick those up before you got uh, another rally uh, failure mm-hmm. on my part. <laughs> but that was really good. Um, yeah, I, uh, that did surprise me. I mean, I the I mean those defensive works definitely helped. They do. Um, I, I'm always, you know, the thing is the continental side, I think I fear, is when you get those cards where you can move uh, two hexes and still battle. So you can close that range yes. twice as quick and get into melee. And I always feel like once you're in melee, and especially against militia, but the I t- just feel like, oh, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got really but fortunate and scary, you got that, yeah. that volley, the line volley card yeah. immediately before I was about, because I had it all set up with, yeah. you know, the three hexes there between the, the forest and the and the water feature there and I was ready here it comes and then you just went sure. down the line and just peppered them so that was really very effective for getting that out. plus that militia bonus card where I got two extra dice yeah. for each militia that, that was that was a big combination yeah that felt like that was my one and only hope was to cause a lot of damage before you got up close and maybe I could get you to fail some rally checks and maybe maybe get a lead but that, that definitely worked out yeah better than I thought that it would have <laughs> yeah. yeah that was fun yeah it was um okay well the yeah, British will shake to... their fist at you and, <laughs> and <laughs> See, say next can... time continentals next I time blood out of the British here <laughs> yeah yeah it's uh Cool. Yeah, I mean, the cards always come a different ways. I mean, we had almost nothing going on on the right side of the bat. Yeah. So it was all kind of in the left and a little in the middle. But that was often the way it is here, I guess. So well, sure. Sure. Well, see, I mean, maybe... I, I breathed a huge sigh of relief when you did not have anything on your right. Just oh, yeah. Yeah. Was... <laughs> that moment, moment it's like, oh, it's <laughs> like right in my grasp, and right. I could probably hit him hard, and yeah. I got nothing. Well, I can't wait to see what you can do with the British and see if I can hold on as well and perhaps flip the script.